to be brave. Hi guys. Hi. So congratulations on the series. I have really enjoyed it. Uh, it is beautifully directed, set to music, written, incredibly well acted, all that people really want. So thank you very much for that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Robert Downey Jr., uh, executive producer of the show, has really celebrated the total success that Sweet Tooth has had on Netflix worldwide, right? How are you living this success? Well, knowing that we're number one worldwide is just really cool and we're fingers crossed for a season two so that way we can entertain people again so it'd be really nice if we did the the chances of you know i've been doing this a, a long time now so the chances of actually doing a show that gets on netflix that gets to even trending in the top 10 is is very low so to be number one in so many territories across the world is an amazing achievement and it's just amazing to just celebrate that right now and just you know soak it all in what do you guys think uh explains why people like this story so much why well, i think people like this story so much is because it's about hope friendship love and family about um, two friends that go on an adventure in a dystopian post-apocalyptic world while encountering allies and enemies along the way. I feel like the message in Sweet Tooth is one of family and of hope. And I think after the year that we've been through, people might initially think, oh, this is a, about the pandemic, but really it's about family. It's about friendship and it's about hope and what we can do together in spite of any obstacle. And I think some good old fashioned storytelling and, you know, not in an ironic way or a sarcastic way, but in a truthful way. And I think that's what he tries to honestly do is tell a good story from the heart. And, um, you know, people respond to that. So the series is an adaptation of a comic. And although it serves as an inspiration, it has many differences. Uh, this is for Christian, by the way. Did you know the comic? From before, did you read it to prepare for the role? I did not know the comic before um, I got Sweet Tooth. I was never really into comic books, but now after reading all three comic books for um, research about Gus, I'm totally into them, and I I love them now. Like I, I read the Sweet Tooth um, all three books over and over and over again, and it, uh, it was amazing. <laughs> the nickname of your character, Sweet Tooth, in Spanish could be translated as Goloso, someone with a big appetite, right? Do you feel that hunger for adventure and discovering things defines your character? Yeah, definitely. He has a sweet tooth for adventure also, so I mean, it's a double name. So for, for Nonso, the, the gas character wants is to know the world and your character just wants to escape from it. What do you think it brings these two characters together in such a different beginning? Yeah, I think, you know, in this, in this world, after the Great Crumble, um, there's no law and there is no government, there's no police. You have to become incredibly tough, a survivor. And that's what Jeopard has been has become. He may have been a different man 10 years ago, but the man he's had to become in order to survive the Great Crumble was a, a totally different, tough, gritty man. And, and Gus has been shielded from the world. So he still has optimism. He still has hope. He still has that curiosity that was for almost from the old world. So when my um, Jeopard's um, tough character comes into contact with Gus's, it makes for a bond because Jeopard has never seen this kind of optimism for so long. And there's something about this little kid that he can't help but like, no matter how tough he tries to be. This is a story full of fantasy, but also very sensitive and very human. What attracted yeah. you the most about the project? What interests me most about Sweet Tooth is how unique it is compared to many others. About hybrids, like that thought would never have came to my mind. Like that, that just seems so interesting to me, how anyone could have come up with a concept like that. So that's why I think lots of people enjoy it. It's different from other shows and, you know, it's about hope and family. Thank you guys so much for the interview. Thank you. And congratulations Thank you. for the series. It's really great. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't 
little dude's got hope coming out of every pore. But I 